This is A News at 6. Good evening, I'm Eric Thompson. Hudson Mack is off tonight. Police are calling it one of the biggest drug busts in B.C. history. Millions of dollars worth of cocaine seized from a sailboat in Port Hardy 10 days ago. The RCMP Federal Drug Enforcement Team says the drugs were found hidden on board a vessel that police say was acting suspiciously before it docked in the North Vancouver Island fishing town. A Victoria man and a Mexican national remain in jail charged with trafficking as the Mounties showed off their fine today. A News reporter Stephen Andrew joins us live with more on the case. Stephen? Eric, BC Solicitor General says it's a bad day for business for BC's organized crime and he promises it won't be the last. But it's certainly significant to this coast. The RCMP hit the jackpot 10 days ago when they seized more than 1,000 kilos of cocaine, roughly the weight of a small car. We don't see 1,000 uh, kilos uh, every day, that's for sure. Investigators say the find is worth hundreds of millions of dollars on the street. It is also countless amounts of pain, suffering, and misery to the people addicted to it. And it's more anguish than we can imagine for families trying to save their loved ones from this unique hell of cocaine addiction. Today, they showed off the seizure and revealed more details of how they began to track a sailboat off the north coast of Vancouver Island. When hailed by a routine Canadian Forces Maritime Air Surveillance Patrol, it provided the name of the SV Huntress. However, the vessel name and registration attributed the name to a fishing vessel and not a motor sailor. Investigators say that information led the Marine Security Operations Center in Esquimalt to monitor the vessel more closely. When a black Zodiac met the sailboat, police moved in and arrested the two people on board and seized 37 duffel bags of cocaine. This cocaine would have contributed to 2,555 drug-related deaths that have occurred over the past 10 years in the province of British Columbia. The RCMP believe the drugs were destined for a number of cities and towns across Canada and is linked to organized crime. This amount of cocaine removed from the market hits organized crime hard. 39-year-old Scott Peterson of Victoria and 38-year-old Vincente Hernandez of Mexico remain in jail, charged with possession for the purpose of trafficking. The two men will make their next appearance in a Victoria courtroom on March 30th. Now, Eric, this investigation is ongoing, and the RCMP believe that there are more uh, people associated with what they're calling a criminal organization that uh, imported these drugs. The Mounties are asking anyone with information to call their tip line at 778-571-7535, and they say that all information they receive on that tip line will be treated confidential. Stephen Andrew in Victoria tonight. Stephen, thank you. You're welcome.